Eyal Golan, the undisputed king of Mizrahi music. A style that blends Middle Eastern and Mediterranean sounds was pop music. Eyal Golan is a singer who led this once neglected genre of music into the mainstream of Israeli society. The Israeli parliament wants to honor him along with 11 more musicians for his contribution to Israeli music and culture. But five members of parliament are demanding to drop the honor because the singer faced allegations of sexual misconduct with underage girls. Although I appreciate Eyal Golan's music, giving him a prize in the Knesset after all the complaints and suspicion regarding taking advantage of underage girls by making use of his position of privilege, using drugs and alcohol, we can find someone else to give the prize to. The idea to honor Eyal Golan came from Likud parliament member Nava Boker. It's interesting that when the police recommend a prime minister to be brought to trial, then it's excellent for them to decide his fate. But when it comes to the same police that closed the case against Eyal Golan and dismissed the suspicions against him, it's not right. In the Me Too era, these words fell to appease many. Golan was cleared from suspicion for lack of evidence against him. But his father was sentenced to two years in jail after being convicted of luring minors from weaker socioeconomic homes, using his son's fame to attract them for purposes of prostitution. The minors had sexual relations with both Eyal Golan and his father. While the award for Eyal Golan relates to his music, not his character, honoring him in the parliament is seen by some as spitting in the faces of victims of sexual violence. Daniel Campos, I-24 News.